Hey guys, in this video, I'll quickly be showing you how to create new morphic designs in just a few minutes. Let's just get started. The first thing that you need to do is you obviously need to open a file. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to add an artboard here. And let me just go ahead and add a larger one. So it's probably consistent with the one that's on the left. Um, so here we have our artboard. I'm just going to go ahead and expand it slightly. I'm going to give it a border radius of let's say 20 or probably 40. I'm going to press the I key to actually just grab the gray color that I have on the left. And basically what you can do if you want to manually create these designs are you can actually first draw a shape. So for example, let me just go ahead and draw a shape like this. Let me just give it a border radius. Press the I key to actually give it the same background as the background that's there and then what we can do is we can actually add an effect to it uh, and the effect that you want to add here especially if let's say i'm just going to start off with 100 and 100 so if the box is let's say 100 pixels then you ideally want to have an effect that's somewhere around four and then four pixels on the x-axis four pixels on the y-axis and the shadow can be around 12 pixels so three times more than the actual direction I'm, I can go ahead and I can add another shadow here and basically in this shadow what we want to do is we want to uh, rotate uh, the direction so minus four and then minus four and the blur can be eight pixels because this is going to be our white so I'm just going to make it white I'm going to make it slightly more prominent 60 and here we have basically our uh, up style for the new morphic design we want to go ahead and create a down one as well so i'm just going to go ahead and say down let's just center it and basically what you want to do here is you want to just go ahead and replace these drop shadows with inner shadows and here you basically have the down one and i think and i think these looks look good though probably you want to go ahead and slightly increase the blurs so i'm going to make this blur at the bottom 12 i'm going to make this blur inside it probably something around 12 and here we have it now another quick and easy way if you don't want to go ahead through all of that effort is you can just basically go ahead and drag whatever shape that you want and so i'm just going to go ahead and make a 200 by 200 pixels uh, box and we basically have a great plugin that we can use which is the new morphism plugin once you have a frame or a shape or anything else you can basically just say new morph it and here you have it you have your design uh, converted into a new morphed uh, effect and obviously you can increase the the variation the intensity of the distance from or the elevation from the ground you can increase the intensity if you want so on and so forth you can also increase uh, determine the shape that's there so i can configure it to be let's say either on the inside or on the outside or slightly like this so there are just a lot of things that you can do here you can also change the light source so yeah that's basically how you create these designs now for example if i were to actually go ahead and add an icon in there so i can say paper minus plane and let me just go ahead and actually choose font awesome um here we have the font awesome one i'm going to make it regular and now i'm going to change this color to pr probably something like this i'm going to go ahead and new morph it we want the effect to be uh, on the inside so i'm going to make it on the inside i'm going to change the elevation to one and i'm going to increase uh, the intensity to probably 12 and here we have basically our icon and our sorry our object and i can obviously press the uh, k key and actually increase it in size and similarly we can basically just go ahead and duplicate it and add however many icons that we want I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add this text that I previously had, th had there. So I'm going to say create new morphic designs in minutes. Let's just go ahead and actually choose minutes, center it and center, probably move this a bit at the bottom. And basically I have these, both of these things selected. I'm actually going to go ahead and change the color of this minutes to be slightly like this 
and now let's just go ahead and apply a new morphic design on this as well uh, it says please select something so i have this selected i'm going to say it's also going to be on the inside the elevation is going to be one and the intensity can be slightly larger maybe 16 and the same goes here on the inside intensity can be one or maybe even two i think we can have it two and then this can be 16 and there you, there you have it this is how you basically go ahead and create neomorphic designs in just a few minutes do subscribe to hit the bell icon do let me know if you need anything else or would like to see anything specific but other than that i'll see you in the next video take care